Today we're doing two NFL player props here on Price Pick for Sunday, September 22nd. Sunday NFL slate here, you guys. Before I get started, link in the description below of the video. Hop into the premium Discord, $9.30 per month, $0.31 cents per day. That is where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks. Other cappers in there as well, posting all of their plays. Super positive community. Everyone in the Discord, you guys, just trying to help each other cash. Again, link in the description, you guys, $0.31 cents per day. I also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. Simply just a place I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. But let's get right into it, you guys. Before I get into it as well, I want to talk about Daily Grand Fantasy. I will be talking about it at the end of the video. But this is a research betting tool that I do use every single day, you guys. They're doing all the hard work for us here. You can see the top play on the NFL Daily Grand Fantasy board right now is Derrick Henry over rush one or over 0.5 rush plus reception tds because it's on pinnacle at one, minus 126 on DraftKings at minus 135 so normally like again if this bumps up to like minus 140 on DraftKings, this won't even be on the board this this list here the dfs optimizer updates regularly i'm gonna talk about it more at the end of the video but you guys can get 25 percent off your first month with the link and the promo code tuff both in the description below of this video but let's get into it uh nfl sunday slate here Two player props that I do like. Let's go. First play is going to be Kyler Murray. I like his over 20 fantasy score here against the Detroit Lions. It's debatable that last week, Kyler Murray had his best game of his NFL career. Um, last week, I mean, he went he went absolutely crazy against the Rams. I think he finished with, uh, let's see, actually, he finished Kyler Murray last week, 31.2 PPR fantasy, or sorry, 31.2 fantasy points. Actually, I think this is actually on Fandle. So he finished with 28 and a half fantasy points is what let me just make sure 28 and a half is right 28 and a half so he finished with 28 and a half fantasy points last week um 17 for 21 two, two, 266 uh, yards through the air three passing touchdowns also at 59 yards on the ground no rushing tds but just absolutely dominant i know i saw some nfl analysts say that it was a top five player potential i think it was dan orlowski but looking at this matchup right we we're expecting a shootout here 51 and a half over under the highest game total of any game this week three point spread as well at home for arizona i think this is an absolute smash spot for kyle Murray. if we look at last season quarterbacks versus the arizona cardinals we can see the hit rate on this type of line we saw 10 different quarterbacks or sorry 11 different quarterbacks last season 11 of 17 quarterbacks clear this line against the detroit lions it's because the detroit lions run defense is so elite it causes for a lot of type of a lot of passing offense overall and if you even if you look at this season right the quarterbacks uh the sorry the detroit lions defense versus quarterback position they're allowing the sixth most or sorry eighth most uh, fantasy points to the quarterback position 21.3 fantasy points per game but their run defense remains stout third lowest yards per carry 2.86 but if we go back to last season very similar right this is the same coach same defensive coordinator, a lot of the same personnel. Last season, Detroit Lions, third most fantasy points to the quarterback position, averaging 24 fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. We look at running backs last season, yards per carry. The Detroit Lions, third lowest yards per carry, two running backs at 3.63. So again, run-stopping defense causes for passing offense, and Kyler Murray here is in an absolute smash spot considering his rushing ability. Right, even if we if we look at last season rushing yards to quarterbacks, the Detroit Lions allowed the fourth most rushing yards to quarterbacks last season, and we know the type of dual threat quarterback that Kyler Murray is. And even through two weeks, like I said, we saw Matthew Stafford with absolutely no rushing upside finish with 19.9 fantasy. Sorry, finished with 18.7 fantasy points here against the Detroit Lions. Finished 317 yards through the air in one passing touchdown, also through an interception. But again, no rushing upside. And then again, we saw Baker Mayfield just last week. He finished with 19.8 fantasy points against the Detroit Lions. He had uh, 34 yards on the ground along with a rushing touchdown. Threw for uh, 12 for 19, 185 yards to the air. They were trying to kill the clock. Uh, I don't the uh, Detroit the sorry the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in that game. Definitely a weird game, 20 to 16. I mean Baker Mayfield only threw the ball 19 times, and we saw Jared Goff threw the ball 55 times. I think this is the time of the possession was absolutely crazy. It was such a weird game overall, but nonetheless, Kyler Murray is in an absolute smash spot. You guys, I think. He's just getting better and better, and again, being a home game as well. Let's just go back to 2022 when Kyler had a pretty good season, I'd say. Uh, he's over this line in five games, right? 2021, pretty strong hit rate on this line as well. If we take a look at the hit rate back in 2021 for Kyler Murray, again, this is a dysfunctional offense, nowhere near the amount of weapons he has. He was over this line in, what, probably like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of 16 games 10 of 16 games so a very low line for kyler murray i think in the highest game total of the week 
The rushing upside is there. He's easily a top three fantasy quarterback if you play you know, regular fantasy football. I love this spot here for Kyler Murray. The second play is going to be a Sunday night football play, which I don't normally do for these videos, but I just like this spot a lot. It's going to be Kyle Pitts, and I like his over eight and a half fantasy score. Now, there's a lot of people don't like Kyle Pitts. They're let down by Kyle Pitts, etc. I'm one of them. He's actually on my fantasy team, my main team that I care the most about, I guess. Um, and he's I don't want to say he's let me down, but it's been underwhelming. For Kyle Pitts through two games but looking at this matchup Sunday Night Football this has a high over under a uh, high game total 46 and a half three point spread at home for Atlanta which is key when we talk about Kyle Pitts right we talk about Kyle Pitts at home at home over his last nine games he's over this line in six of nine but more specifically six of his last seven home games with the Atlanta Falcons he's over this line right averaging around I would say what is this close to like 11.8 fan, uh, PPR fantasy points over his last uh, seven games at home and Again, this is an elite matchup so far this season. The Chiefs have allowed the most fantasy points to the tight end position, 16.8 fantasy points. Actually, PPR is probably even higher. Hold on. Let me give me give me a second here. PPR fantasy points to the tight end position. The Chiefs averaging 20, giving up 29.3 fantasy points per game. PPR to the tight end position, the most targets in the NFL and the most receptions to the tight end position and easily the most yards. Now, obviously, this is skewed a little bit by Isaiah Likely's massive week one game that he did have, finishing with 111 yards, nine catches for 12 targets. But we just last week, we saw Mike Kosicki, seven seven catches on nine targets for 91 yards. We also saw Eric Ali, er, sorry, Eric All Jr. in that same game, four targets, four catches for 32 yards, and Drew Sample, three targets, three catches for 28 yards. Again, Mark Andrews was being double teamed out of the game. Kyle Pitts is not going to be double teamed in this game against the Falcons. So you can see here, I mean, Isaiah likely went crazy, and then we saw the Kansas City, uh, sorry, the Cincinnati Bengals combined for 15 total targets to the tight end position versus the Chiefs. 15, which makes this even more interesting, I think, for Kyle Pitts, because again, this is a buy low. I think this line should be at around nine and a half given his upside we look at Kyle Pitts again his line uh, on price picks his reception line is sitting at three and a half let's just say he gets four receptions right this is why I'm, I'm doing fan sorry I'm going to explain why I'm doing fantasy score as opposed to just going over three and a half receptions going back to 2021 in games where he catches the ball at least four times okay at least four times he's over this line and Every single game except for one when he finished with 7.1 fantasy. But again, he's got two games down here where he went over on fantasy but under on receptions. 9.2 against New Orleans and 8.9 here on two catches um, against Buffalo because he is a dominant yards after the catch type of player and he is able to get those receiving touchdowns, especially when the Falcons are in the red zone. We'll go back to 22, which was obviously a very underwhelming season for Kyle Pitts. In every game that he had at least, you know, three plus receptions, I mean, two games at least when he had four receptions 19 ppr fantasy points 13.7 um, just last season again a very very underwhelming season for kyle pitts over this line in every game he had at least four receptions here as well actually over twice um when he had under three uh four and a half three and a half sorry so 14.7 and 13.9 which it gives to shows the ppr upside fantasy score wise that kyle pitts does have and then again so far this season he's gone under in week one against Pitt, he had three only three catches, but 11.6 fantasy because he did get that uh, receiving touchdown. So it's an absolute great spot for Kyle Pitts. I think this is a buy low in a game that they should be having to compete um, and go score for score with against the Kansas City Chiefs indoors in that uh, Mercedes Dome. Uh, should be a lot of scoring, and I like this spot for Kyle Pitts a lot over eight and a half fantasy scores. So two plays for this YouTube video: Kyler Murray over 20 fantasy score, Kyle Pitts over eight and a half. Again, you guys check out Daily Grand Fantasy. Again, DFS Optimizer is a tool that I do use every single day, you guys. You can go by any different league that you, you use price picks on. Super versatile, and this updates in real time, right? This updates in real time. I'm going to refresh this right now, and I, I bet you some of these plays, I'm not going to bet you, but um, some of these plays will be off the board because they do change so drastically. We know how quickly sports books can shift lines and things like that. But again, if we go to like NFL here, um, and again, if you're on underdog, parlay play, better picks, whatever you're on, uh, they got, you know, the DFS optimizer for all of those different platforms like Jackson Smith and Jibba um, over four and a half receptions on price picks, 53.63 odds to hit uh, given the DG, the Daily Grand Fantasy Optimizer, because these are what his odds are on all the different books. It takes the odds from all the different books, combines it into one fantasy score, what it should be, uh, receptions, all those different things. You guys like that. So link in the description using promo code TUFF gets you 25% uh, off your first month. Check that out. So again, two plays for this YouTube video. Murray, 20 fantasy score, pot pits over eight and a half. Please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.